Hey there, everybody. Calling each and every one of my style seekers and budget conscious fashionistas alike. Welcome to another Cue the Girl. So today's show and tell is bound to capture your imagination. Now I know that you have more than likely seen this bag all over YouTube and Amazon. Well, for those of you that have swooned over the iconic Marc Jacob tote bag, myself included, but have hesitated because of the price point, well, then you're going to be in for a treat. Now let's take a peek into the world of premium duplicates with a tote bag that promises the luxe, the style, and the panache of the Marc Jacob original without burning a hole in your pocket. Will it match up or is it too good to be true? I say let's unravel this mystery together. purchased these Marc Jacob dupes for the tote bag from Amazon. Now each bag had a different price, but there was a coupon guys for each bag. So the pricing will be dependent on whatever the offer was or will be at the time you make your purchase. Now the pricing will range from approximately $28.98 to $32.98. Once again, that's going to be dependent on the pricing. But just to give you an anticipated price point, my total for these five bags with the coupons was $121.92. Now, as you saw in the intro, guys, I purchased five of these beautiful bags in the colors, powder blue, cognac, black, pink, and red. Now, they do come in 15 other colors in addition to the ones that I have here. The storefront is just a series of letters. So again, guys, check the description area below for the link. So the totes pretty much came packaged in what you see here in a plastic Ziploc bag, similar to a Ziploc bag. Now, I'm guessing that it's okay temporarily to use this as a dust bag, but I would say that if you are like me and particular about how you store your handbags, I would invest in a better quality dust bag just to protect. And listen guys, just because it's a dupe doesn't mean that it shouldn't be protected and well cared for. So this bag I would say is considered to be a medium in size. Now as far as the material goes, it's crafted from premium PU leather, which is pretty much a synthetic leather substitute. Now this bag has that pebbling, which really makes it soft to the touch and you have a little bit of texture there and it is water resistant so it will be pretty easy to maintain. Now the stitching seems to be really tight. It doesn't have any ends that are straggling and I don't see any loose thread so that's a good thing. Now again let's talk about the size. So it is described as large but to me this really is a medium and if you decide to purchase this bag the dimensions are listed in the description on Amazon. So the structure of the bag has of course that main compartment which is pretty generous with gold tone zipper closures. Now there is also an inner patch pocket with a zipper as well. Now this bag also has the detachable strap which is adjustable. Now you can use this tote as a handbag, a shoulder bag, or you can use it as a crossbody bag. So these totes guys are such a practical option with multiple uses. They can be used for work, vacation, for shopping, not to mention it would make a really nice gift for someone or yourself. Now I would also guys recommend a purse organizer to keep inside of the bag to keep it free from dirt or from unexpected spills. Now I personally love all of these bags so far and I will most likely 
purchase a few more. Now, right now, I would rate these bags on a scale of one to 10, a seven or an eight, but it's not for the reason that you would think. So what I'd like to do is ask you to keep on watching and I'm going to tell you why I gave it that rating. So look, my beautiful fashionistas, we all know that owning a dupe of designer products such as the Marc Jacob tote bag has its own set of pros and cons. Now, it would be irresponsible of me not to go over those pros and those cons of not only these Marc Jacob tote dupes, but dupes in general. So I'm going to make this quick and we're going to start with the pros. Number one being affordability. Now, dupes are generally much more affordable than the original designer products. And number two, there's accessibility. Now, for those who can't find or buy the original due to limited availability, a dupe offers an alternative. Number three, there's that fashionable look. Now, you can achieve the desired look or style without spending a fortune. And number four, there's less stress. If it gets damaged or lost, the financial loss is not as significant as it would be with an authentic bag. Now let's talk about the cons. Quality. Dupes may not match the quality, the craftsmanship, or the durability of the original bag. And then there are those ethical concerns. Buying duplicates may indirectly support counterfeit markets, which we all know. That can also undermine the original designer's work and the fashion industry as a whole. And then there's that lack of authenticity. Now, owning a dupe doesn't provide the same sense of pride or prestige as owning the genuine item. And then there's the issue with resale value. Dupes don't hold their value and cannot be resold as genuine items. So it is crucial for consumers to weigh these factors and make informed decisions based on their priorities and their values. So guys, with that being said, let me be very clear. I am not anti-dupe, but what I am is pro being an informed consumer and want you as my subscribers and audience to be the same. So I'm going to ask you to please like, subscribe, and share this video, and I'm going to see you, you, and especially you in the next one.